NASA's Cassini spacecraft is doing some awesome stuff today. Stay tuned to NASA's Twitter feed, Space Cadets. This is going to be interesting. I'm Benjamin Higginbotham, and this is your Space Pod for November 30th, 2010. About a month ago, on November 2nd, 2010, the Cassini spacecraft went into safe mode when the onboard computer had a messed up bit. Not a part, but an actual one or a zero. Now, as a result, the craft was unable to process an important instruction, hence safe mode. And this is the sixth time that that has happened since its launch in 1997. Now, about a week ago, on November 24th, 2010, Cassini was brought back into full operations, and just in time. At 11.54 spacecraft event time today, which is kind of like coordinating universal time, except offset for the fact that the uh, spacecraft is, um, um, where is it again? Oh, it's at Saturn. Cassini will pass around 48 kilometers or 30 miles from the surface of Enceladus, one of the moons of Saturn. During the closest part of the flyby, Cassini will make gravity measurements to help understand the moon's interior structure better. And you can follow all of this action on the official Cassini Twitter page at twitter.com slash Cassini Saturn. Other great stuff has come out of this craft as well. The Cassini spacecraft has detected a very weak atmosphere, known as an exosphere, infused with oxygen and carbon dioxide around Saturn's icy moon Rhea. Now this is the first time a spacecraft has directly captured molecules of an oxygen atmosphere. Albeit, it was a very thin one, but it was in a world other than Earth. This means that active, complex chemistry involving oxygen may be quite common throughout the solar system, and even our universe. It could mean that life is more common than we even think today. Now, there's not enough data yet, but it's certainly an interesting find, and it's right in our backyard. Now, this closes us out a bit closer to home. Saturn's awesome and all, but, you know, Earth is just as awesome. We have a time lapse of some amazing aura borealis, recorded over Norway. What better way to see this amazing imagery than on your HDTV? And thanks to Roku, now you can. Tune in this Friday at 0200 hours coordinated universal time during our live show for your chance to win a Roku HD player. Now for those of you in the US, that's Thursday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can only win if you watch live. And now let's end this space pod right.